How's it going guys? I'm Dionysius and welcome to the first episode of Siege Strats, a series where I'll be giving beginner strategies on how to attack Rainbow Six Siege. As a newer player, you'll find you are winning more defensive rounds than attacking ones because, let's face it, figuring out the best way to attack a site is difficult, so this series is made to give a few simple strategies for you to develop on and use in your gameplay. Hopefully this will be a useful tool, and if you have any additions to the strategies, then do please leave a comment below. This video we're going to be looking at attacking the church bombsite of the Armoury Church Defence on Clubhouse. Your end objective in this strategy is going to be opening this wall, the west wall into church and planting behind the black box. But in order to get to that point we're going to have to accomplish some initial objectives in prepping the map so you can safely execute the push. Firstly, there are three types of operators that are going to be necessary for this strategy. A hard breacher for the church wall, Thermite. A hard breacher for the hatches, assuming they're reinforced, so Hibana. Maverick can work in this role as well, but is much slower and less effective. And the third operator is going to be a soft breacher, and this is all up to preference. Sledge or Buck are both very strong for this particular role, however Zofia, Hibana or any other operator equipped with breaching charges can also play this effectively. Fuse can also be good for the purposes of what we are trying to accomplish. Do keep in mind, this strategy guide does not include roam clearing, so you will need to be mindful of roaming defenders in the bar or bedroom areas in particular, getting picks on your important operators. The number one asset you need to protect in this is Thermite. The first setup you're going to need to do is opening the soft floor with your soft breacher in the kitchen and the main stairs landing in front of the bar. These will open lines of sight onto angles that the defenders can hold to defend the site wall. The kitchen soft floor in the southwest corner will look into the corner of the armory site and effectively exposes any defender sitting there, forcing them to push back into the other side of armory or get killed. The floor at the top of the stairs will open a nasty little angle looking all the way down the corridor and into memorial doorway to force out or kill any defenders holding the side of the map from there. This alone should effectively clear the corridor so that you can begin to move down the main stairs towards the point but doesn't 100% solve the defensive hold. The second part of the setup is Hibana or Maverick and that is to open the hatches. Starting with the hatch in bar, this is the most important viewpoint as it looks down into memorial and completely shuts off that angle of cover on the main stairs. The defenders can no longer hold the best spot to watch for this push. The kitchen hatch will allow you to hold an angle from above looking into armory behind the boxes. This effectively does two things. It cuts off one of the rotations the defenders can make between sites, and it makes it much more difficult for them to hold the main stairs angle from all the way down the corridor. It can also be very beneficial to open up the bar stock hatch that drops into blue, but it is not 100% necessary. However, if you were able to get someone to hold down that hatch, you will effectively cut off all rotations between armory and church. Now the map is prepped, it's time to focus on the execute. Pushing down the main stairs onto the church wall, you want to place a thermite charge on the left panel of this wall. You may need a teammate to spray some cover fire down the corridor to allow you to cross easily, and you should by this point have a teammate inside of Memorial holding the church door so you don't get flanked from that side. Once the church wall is open, make sure you have crossfire established to cover you moving in and squeeze into the little corner behind black box. It can also be handy to use smoke grenades and gridlock spikes to block off the view and block the push onto you from the defenders. Do keep in mind that it is very common to have a rotation hole in the north wall into blue, so be careful of defenders holding church from in there as you cannot see this from the bar stock hatch. As you can see, when you push behind the black box, it is almost impossible to see you and see you planting there without actually pushing right up to you, so you should be able to get the plant down pretty easily. From there, the pose plant is almost already in place. The pose plant from this stage in the round should be pretty simple. You have the angle on the church door held from Memorial already, you can hold the diffuser itself from the main stairs as well, and depending on how many bodies you have left, somebody from the kitchen hatch to defend you from the armory side. If a defender tries to disable the diffuser, they are in a much more exposed position than you were when you planted it, and it should be an easy kill and round win. 
also depending on how many bodies you have you might already have someone at this stage starting to push and flank into blue to completely cut off rotations either from the hatch or from the blue stairs leading up to garage. This should be a pretty simple hold once the diffuser is down and it should be a very easy round win. So, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any additions to this strategy or any comments about how effective it was for you, feel free to leave a comment below and of course, like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and to hear about the next Siege Strats video as soon as it drops. Now, go and win some rounds and I'll see you in the next one.